Hey guys, my name is Kelly and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, we're going to be testing out something that I'm so excited and I've been wanting to try out for a while. Um, I ended up purchasing this about five days ago and I've just been holding on to it. That way I can actually feel my first impression, first thoughts on it. Whenever I was looking up this product, I could not find a single video or review on it and I was like, wow, why is no one talking about this? So I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and give my input on it. This is the Heritage by Mindy, one and one fourth curl and iron. You can pick this up at your local Walmart. And then depending on which Walmart you're at, they might have like an actual display counter set out where you can pick the product up and test it out. My local Walmart did not have one, but the Walmart that I was at the day that I picked this up, it was about an hour away from where I live. They did have one, so I was able to pick up the curl and iron, see how it felt. As far as price goes, I paid, so it's $35.94 is how much the curl and iron costs. And then of course, depending on your taxes, I live in Kentucky, so we have a 6% sales tax and I ended up paying $38.10. So I paid $40 for a new curl and iron. For reference, I wanna show you what I was using. This right here, this is my baby. This is the Conair one. I've had this for at least 15 years. I remember my mom purchasing it from the dollar store and then I ended up just taking it from her and using it all the time because she didn't like the, the size of it. And I'm pretty sure this is the one inch one. I thought about purchasing the, the updated version of it I think it was like $15, but then I was like, I need to invest in a good curl and iron that's gonna help my hair instead of damaging it. It says curl and iron ceramic tourmaline barrel heats up to 450 degrees while transferring heat evenly for a silky smooth finish. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open it up. I am so excited. What if I absolutely love this and it's only $40? What if it lasts me 15 years like that Conair one did? I have tried out some of the heritage products like the, I think it was like the deep conditioner, the protectant spray, some other hair styling type products. I don't love them, but I don't hate them either. To me, they're drugstore products, but they're better than some of the other drugstore products. I would rather use heritage than Pantene. Nothing can compare to my Monet. I'm just throwing that out there. That was very anticlimactic. <laughs> I will say, these are beautiful. Whenever I seen them in store and they had the display case out and I was able to pick it up and hold it, I was like, this is nice. For a Walmart product, this was nice. It does feel, it feels kind of cheapy. I would say as far as weight goes, these feel about the same. This one's just a tad bit heavier. It's also just slightly bigger, like the barrel itself is bigger. This is a one inch barrel and this is a one and one fourth. I could not find a one inch barrel in this, but I can already tell that that cord is going to be so long, which makes me so excited. And I even love, I love the colors. I love that rose gold with that matte gray color. I think that it is so pretty. Aesthetically, this gets a 10 out of 10 for me. I think it's beautiful. Should we read the instructions? So I'm gonna get this plugged in and then we'll turn it on. All right, so I went ahead and got it plugged in. Just for reference, I don't typically sit on my couch and do my hair. I'm usually in my bathroom, but for the sake of this video and the lighting situation, I'm filming it on my couch. So I went ahead and plugged it in and it says off on it. So let's go ahead and turn it on. I had to press and hold it to turn it on and then you can select your chimp you can select your chimp you can select your temperatures by pressing the power button so there's 300 350 400 and 450 i kind of wish like on my conair one it has a dial on it where you can go through and select your different temperatures i kind of wish it had something like that because what if you wanted to do 375 or 425, you know what I mean? The numbers are flashing, I have it on 350. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in. The only thing that I have in my hair right now is for Juba Beads, the split end manner, just to help with my, heal my split ends. I put it in after every time that I shower. And then also having a little bit of leave-in conditioner. Other than that, this is my natural hair. Okay, so now it is no longer flashing, so I'm gonna assume that means that 
it's warmed up and ready to go. Normally, whenever I do my hair, I just take the pieces that I'm not using and put them in my mouth. But since I'm gonna have to be talking, I start at the top, at the root, and curl, and then drag it down. I don't really have any thought as of yet. I will say it didn't feel like it slid very easy, but it could just be where it just came out of the box. Start up here at the root. pulling my hair but it's not just easily gliding either it's too early for me okay that time it did glide a little bit easier but it could just be where it's heated up more too I like it That one didn't glide as easy. But you can kind of hear it. I think that if you have short hair, you might have some trouble using it. I'd say my hair is about medium length. Done it. I done this before you fall. I won't cut you don't know I'm stolen. Cause you love to. I just went and looked in the mirror and wow, I love it. I think it did an absolutely amazing job. I haven't brushed it out yet. Let me see if I can get a shot of that. I think it turned out absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and brush it out. This is the real test. Will my curls stay? Because they normally do. My hair feels super soft, super silky. I just wanted to bring you in the bathroom and show you what I am seeing because I want to make sure that it's picking up really good on camera. My curls look very bouncy. They're like the perfect I don't want to say beachy wave, but they kind of are. I feel like my hair has so much volume, like more volume than normal. And I haven't even added any product into my hair. Like this is just, this is just from the curl and iron. Let's get into my final thoughts. Overall, I would say that this is an amazing product if you are on a budget, if you're just in the market for a new curl and iron, but you can't go to, you know, Ulta or Sally's or someplace like that and buy a really expensive one totally understand that was my situation i'm not going to pay a hundred plus dollars for a curling iron it's just not in the budget so i am so glad that i found this at walmart and i decided to try it out because i absolutely love it one thing that i did notice whenever i was curling it of course like i had said it almost feels like it's not necessarily pulling at my hair but it's almost like it's skipping like it's not just smoothly gliding 
but once I got it up to that 400 degree Fahrenheit temperature, then it actually did start to glide a little bit. If you notice that it is pulling your hair, then just kind of turn the temperature up some. Um, I never tried it at the 450 point because I didn't really feel like it was necessary. I feel like the 350 point was my golden spot, but because of the pulling situation, I turned it up to 400. I do wish that there were some in-between temperatures, but it's not a make or break deal for me. I absolutely love the nine foot swivel cord. I don't know when I'll actually ever need a nine foot cord, except right now in this moment. Um, it absolutely looks amazing. It's very pretty. One thing that drove me nuts and probably is my biggest complaint about this is the placement of the power button. I would constantly, I don't, I don't even know how, but somehow I would hit the power button and it would change the temperature on me. I don't know how I did it. It just, it kept happening. And I was like, oh my gosh, let me fix it. Really, really annoying that I just kept hitting it. I just wish maybe it was in like a different place. Like maybe down here, like switch these two. Like, cause this is just like a little medallion, a little emblem, something. And I wish that it would maybe switch spots with that. Another thing that I had read that I absolutely loved was that it has an automatic shut off after 30 minutes. I am the world's worst about forgetting to turn off my curling iron or my straightener and I'm constantly like having to text Dylan like, hey, can you check and make sure that the straightener's off? Literally all the time. And I do, I turn it off, but it's like in my head I forget that I turn it off and then I get paranoid that the house is gonna burn down. But I think that every heating product should have that automatic shut off. Overall, I'm really happy with my purchase. If I had to give this a rating on a scale of one to 10, I would say it's about maybe an eight, eight and a half. I really don't have any huge complaints about it, just a few minor things. Um, but overall, I absolutely love it, and I'm glad that I went with it. If you guys could do me a favor and give this video a like, and go ahead and subscribe, because this is going to help out my channel so much and help me to get monetized, and then I could do more reviews like this, more videos like this. If you have any video requests or items that you want me to review that maybe people don't talk about very much, be sure to list them down in the comments below. I'm going to put all the information down in the description box. I can't wait to see you guys in my next one.